So I'm introducing you today to the Athame, spelled A-T-H-A-M-E. It is a ritual knife. In fact, it doesn't actually have to be a sharp knife because it is an energy knife used in witchcraft to draw up a circle. It's a masculine version of the wand. Could be wood, in this case, this is a resin one. Uh, could be uh, uh, any material at all, does not have to have sharp cutting edges. You cannot use a knife that has been used before to cut something uh, physical, like a meat or, 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 or the such like, because that in our eyes would be tarnished. We'd have to consecrate that. In fact, actually, it couldn't be consecrated for me if it's cut meat. So this is a perfect knife being resin um, and it is an energy knife. If I was in my coven, I'd be using it to draw up a circle. Um, I would be using it for uh, lots of energy work, the masculine version of a wand. So if I wanted to do some magic where I felt it needed the masculine element, I would use my athame. Sometimes a ritual sword is used in the place of an athame and uh, that too can be used for uh, drawing up a circle. It's also used in um, hand fasting ceremonies as well. Um, powerful knives uh, and very misunderstood in magic. Um, we don't have to have sharp edge knives because these are used for energy. Um, and this is a rather beautiful one as well. So remember, they can be made of wood or resin or any other type of fibre. Uh, it doesn't have to be the actual dagger itself. I've got one that was made by my father-in-law, which is of copper. And it was a natural uh, material and he made it for me. And it's stunningly beautiful. Actually, they were double-edged knives. So it wasn't just like your um, a cutlery knife where there was only one sharp, one edge. It has a, a, a dagger-like look to it. Um, and I have seen many that haven't been uh, double-edged, but uh, traditionally that would be uh, how, how we would want it. So you could make your own athame, you could buy one from us at Spellbound if you wanted. We could actually make you one to your own design if you wanted. Your own colour, your own resin. Um, this is really rather beautiful. Uh, it's just a lightweight athame. I hope you understand now a little bit about the athame. It has its own story and uh, I think it works absolutely fabulously in magic and in ritual work and in drawing up circles around us to protect us uh, and in cutting energy uh, itself, um, cutting away any kind of stagnant energy and removing it. They are also used in healing work. So um, now you know. Thanks for listening.